I grew up in India, and my father was a technologist, and my mother at work too, and she was a professor. And they both felt that I must have a career, and technology was the right choice for me because it gave me the most options. Uh, fortunately for me, that was a good suggestion because I really enjoyed the sciences. I also enjoyed literature, and I felt that I could indulge in both my interests, technology and literature, if I chose a technical career. And it has turned out to be a really good thing. Neerdra is working in an area of technology that's obviously very important to the company. The printing and imaging business is uh, quite um, a large, profitable one. Uh, Neerdra has been making some significant contributions to it. So she has a passion about the things that she does. She's worked on some of the educational um, initiatives to get more women into technology, uh, both, I think, here in the U.S. as well as working uh, with groups in India. So it, it just seemed like the right flavor of uh, recognition that really was well-deserved after, after many years of, of working on this. I think the real issue for women and minorities is that they're not plugged into the social networks. And so they don't even see the opportunities. I think the best thing that they can do is get plugged into the system through women's groups or other channels outside the work or inside the workplace so they can find out where the opportunities for advancement are. So when I see discrimination, I tend not to take it personally. I see it as something that the other person has to learn. And this is where my understanding of how the brain works. I think when we deal with a lot of information, we categorize, we classify. And I just see it as something that the person needs to deal with. And I work at it from an educating the other person. So I enjoy very much working with Neerja. Uh, she challenges me quite a bit when we're engaged in some discussion about something. And I think that comes a lot from her a philosophical background. In fact, she has written a book on philosophy that, uh, and spirituality, I guess it's got to be part of that as well, that influence the way in which she looks at the world and thinks about things and responds to things. I wrote the book, The Practice and Philosophy of Decision Making, a seven-step spiritual guide, because the Bhagavad Gita is a text that is a process of decision making that can be applicable to management. And I found myself using those principles in my everyday life. And I thought that putting it down very simply and articulately in seven steps that everybody can follow would be an empowering thing. I think I have the best job in the world. I work with the smartest people. And most of us have a passion for what we do. And my job is getting the best out of the people and getting the best for what's business. So if the people we have are engaged in something they're passionate about and there's a business reason for doing it, then we get the best results. That's when the magic happens. I was surprised and deeply honored to have been chosen by Witty to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I am very happy to be recognized uh, in the way for my leadership and community work that I have done over the years. I've been in the Bay Area for the last uh, 30 years in a technical profession, and to be honored by a group like Women in Technology International is something I'm very proud of.